Many travelers in the U.S. this Memorial Day weekend are willing to brave long lines for a little fun in the sun or just a chance to get away. We're going to Martha's Vineyard to celebrate one of our best friend's birthday. Is it nice to be able to get away on uh, Memorial Day? Yeah, I mean, we're trying to, one, celebrate his birthday, but two, it's just really exciting to get out of the city for once, yeah. The U.S. Transportation Security Administration expects to screen 18 million travelers during the Memorial Day travel period, 6% more than last year. While crowds are up, prices for airfare are down 6%. You put off by crowds, prices, anything like that? No, that's life, it's inflation. Yeah. So far, easy trip? Perfect. Including trips by car, train, and bus, nearly 44 million people in the U.S. are expected to travel over the weekend, the highest number since 2005. Smooth sailing so far here at Reagan National Airport outside Washington, D.C., nearly every flight is on time, just a few minor delays. But bad weather could cause delays later in the weekend. For the Jan family, traveling isn't always easy. Well, there's five of us, three car seats, four bags we're checking in, and two backpacks. But after making it through the pandemic, they aren't going to miss a chance to visit family. Uh, so we're going to Dallas, Texas. Visit family? Visit family. Yeah, we have some big family celebrations, graduations, and also a wedding anniversary to celebrate. It's been nonstop travel this year um, for family events. I think there was a period where we just missed out on important celebrations, and we're not doing that anymore. The TSA expects this to be the busiest summer in the skies ever. At some point this summer, they expect to screen more than 3 million travelers in a single day, breaking the record of 2.9 million screenings set last year. Jim Spellman, CGTN at Reagan National Airport outside Washington, D.C.